Okay, so this is going to be a demonstration to give you a sense of what it might be like for quicksand or in the case of an earthquake where you have what appears to be a very stable building that then moves because of liquefaction. And liquefaction is when solid ground no longer acts like a solid and this is why. So we've had a lot of rain that just happened recently in a very short period of time, a tremendous amount of rain. We've also had a lot of material shed off the mountains because there has been a fire and that fire has removed all the vegetation and the roots that have held that mountain to the uh, that sediment to the mountainside. So now it's all falling off. It's filling in this wide floodplain, which you can see right here. It's nice and flat. There's no narrow channel where the water would have been eroding away. For the most part, we have a lot of sediment that's being deposited. All right. So because we've had so much rain in such a short period of time, we have a lot of fluid filling in the spaces between the different grains, these different particles. So if we have sand, as you try to fill a space as much as you can, pack it together as much as you can with sand, no matter how hard you try, there's still going to be space between those grains. That's called pore space. Often, especially in this area in Los Angeles, you have it filled with air because there is just no rain around. But because it's the wet season, we've had a lot of rain, water has filled in that pore space. So if you look down at my feet, you can see where I'm standing it appears to be solid ground. And for the most part it is. I'm standing someplace so that's fine. But if I walk around, you can see some deformation of the ground, which is kind of interesting. But what's even more interesting is if I start to move around a lot in the same spot, the ground stops acting like the ground. Okay, it starts to deform. And this is for the main reason because there is now fluid in the space between the grains. And I'm in a sense moving that sediment, the sand and clay away, and pushing it to the side and water's taking its place because there is just such a high concentration of water in this ground. So my foot's stuck for the most part. It's kind of like quicksand, very much like quicksand. The only difference is possibly the size of the grains. This is fairly small grains. Sand is slightly larger particles for the most part. So uh, I'm stuck in here, but this also gives you a sense of liquefaction, which is a phenomenon that people have a hard time understanding. How can solid ground turn into something that's not solid anymore? And it's this exact thing. If we have an earthquake, and then for whatever reason, that either there's fluid in a place that has a lot of sediment, you build a building on top of it. So you can have sediment just by itself, and the fluid is brought up to the surface for whatever reason during the earthquake, or there just happens to be a lot of fluid there to begin with. Water is now filling the pore space between the grains and we have energy that's imparted into that system and it's just like moving my feet around it gets shaked side to side to side to side and we have the building that is now subsiding into the surface and as long as the shaking continues we can have movement of that building once the shaking stops the pore pressure or the pore uh, concentration of fluid in the pore spaces might either go away or because the energy is not there, the building's not moving anymore, and it can solidify back to the way it was, and you have a building that has now fallen, what appears to be fallen into the ground, and how could that be? Well, we just now proved how that can happen. So thanks for watching.